Hey guys, Adrian here, and um, it's late at night here, and it's school night, but I thought I would get a video guys out, video for you guys out. Um, I want to do a little bit of a tech video. Um, I decided not to put this video in dojos, just because um, this is more of a how, it is a how-to, and I guess usually I do more hardware-related stuff on dojos. I'm trying to move reviews over there, but I want to do this review specifically for the Lake Cool Man channel, just uh, getting back to the tech, so I've been doing a lot of Minecraft videos, and I apologize for that. Anyways, um, today I want to talk about external hard drive enclosures. Now, this is a topic I've touched about in the past, but I haven't really showed you guys a demonstration. And what I want to show you guys is the advantage of external hard drive enclosures and how to actually set one up. It's pretty easy, uh, really basic process, and um, um, the reason I'm doing this is because lately, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't know if I mentioned it in an update really, but um, I've been uh, in a, I'm going to scroll down here so you can see, I've been in a uh, local business here, we're doing, I do computer repair with a friend, and I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in this video or it might have been in uh, another video, but anyways. I uh, do, you can see here I have three towers stacked over here, you can't really see them, but uh, basically we repair computers, we have our A-plus certifications, um, so um, one thing that's a very useful tool are these things right here, these are external hard drive enclosures, uh, this is an Accommodata one, or Accommodata, I'm not, Accommodata, I'm not sure exactly, <laughs> Accommodata, um, brand name, anyways, this was a uh, hard drive enclosure that was about, I think, 50 bucks, they're relatively cheap, they'll go from anywhere from 30 up, uh, you can find them online, they store for specific sizes, um, but you usually you can fit any drive in there, whether it's, uh, you know, some of them support SATA, some of them support IDE, etc., um, basically, these are used for um, hard drives, and now uh, you can see here, let me get these back here, I have a stack here of hard drives, of, you know, these are just some of them that I'm, some I'm, you know, wiping out, some I'm putting Linux on, um, so a lot of spare parts I have around my room here, so you can see hard drives. Now, when I get a hard drive that needs to be, you know, wiped, a customer wants wiped, or maybe they want, you know, um, what do you call that? They have a virus and they just need it wiped, and then they give me their Windows XP CD and they need me to reinstall and stuff like that. I know you guys can't see my head, I'm just doing this so you guys can see this. Um, one, one quick way instead of, uh, what do you call that? Uh, you know, opening a tower, or, you know, if they have their hard drive in their machine and their machine's kind of, you know, uh, obviously it's messed up, it's slow or anything like that. One quicker way is I open up their tower, I pull their hard drive out, I put it in an external enclosure, I plug it into a, uh, a Linux box or something like that because Linux allows me to get access to the files and from there I can, you know, take files out, back up data before I wipe the drive, stuff like that. So it's a really useful um, device here. So basically it's just an empty enclosure here. Uh, very similar to an external hard drive, but basically you can switch out, you know, you have an, an imagine an external hard drive that has a, a hard drive built into it. Here you can just install your own hard drive in here and you see you can use this USB port right here. Um, you can here, let me turn autofocus on so this looks a little bit better for you guys. Um, anyways, you have your power on and off switch right here. Sorry, I always get <laughs> mixed matched. Anyway, usually you'll have a plate cover right here, but for the purpose of this video to save time, I took it off. You you unscrew your two screws on each side, and this will allow you to slide the encasing out here. And what you can do from here is usually you have a top shield, but again, I wanted to take the top. There's usually a thing that looks just like this metal plate that goes on top. I took it off just so you guys will be able to see the inside here. Um, and what you have is a storage for the hard drive. And you're going to have a whole bunch of connections right here. Usually the connections will either come with your enclosure or it'll come with your hard drive that you have. Basically you'll have enclosure for, this is your for your IDE drives. This is for your SATA drives. This provides connection to SATA. And I believe this is the power for SATA right here. So you can see if you've never seen a SATA cable, they usually look at that. So for SATA, you'll have to plug these two connections in. For IDE, I believe it's just this one you'll have to plug in. And of course you'll have your little... You, oh, whoops. No, I hit the camera too bad there. You'll see right here, you can also connect a drive through there. Alright, so, um, simply, um, for, I have this hard drive right here, for example. Uh, I have, this is a Western Digital. And, oh, actually, do I want, yeah, I can use this one. So you see it has a IDE interface and also has a SATA interface here. I believe, is it? Yeah, right. So, the way I'm gonna connect it though is, I'm just gonna put, this is, a, this is a SATA serial ATA drive. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down. And you just want to set it just like that in there. And what you do is from there you just connect the connections into the back of the hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that here so you guys can uh, see how it goes. And that goes in. Or actually it's kind of easier if you lift the drive at an ankle while you get the cables in and then accentuate it down. Alright, so I'm going to insert each cable in here. I know it's kind of hard to see guys, sorry about that. And... Again, take this other cable, kind of ride it around, and connect it in here if I can get an angle at it. 
All right, all right, there you go. So the hard drive's connected, and then from there you just set it down. Um, and from here, you would put the other plate cover on, and then you can just kind of slide this back in the way it's supposed to go. And then you may have to tuck the cables in. And you can see the hard drive just sits nice and neat like that. You kind of want to tuck those cables in so it doesn't get caught like here. So i got to kind of close this down here. And you just close it in, and there you go. Uh, over there, you would put the cover back on and screw it in. And then from there, you put the USB plug that comes with your enclosure. Uh, put the power adapter in and power it on. And then Windows should recognize it if you have a Linux machine. That works as well. You can plug it into any OS pretty much, and it will detect it as a hard drive. From there, you can go and take your data out, etc. Really, really useful tool, guys, for you guys, you tech repairs, you technicians out there, uh, you geeks. Really great thing to have around that way if you ever get, you know, spare hard drives, you want, or you get, you know, somebody who wants you to rip data off or anything like that, just to check what's on the drive. Much quicker way than having to open your towers, throw it in, stuff like that. Much less of a hassle. External hard drive enclosures, guys. Check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Anyways, guys, I will catch you guys in the next update, or next video. Thanks for watching.